Hey everybody, it's April Holly Smith, and I am here once again with this every dollar. And let's see if I can wrestle it this week <laughs> and see if, if I can get it to work. Um, I have made a couple decisions since last time. I am going to get rid of, I'm not going to have the Capital One onto it because it just makes it really confusing and essentially we're like not going to be using it. So I'm just going to get rid of that too make things way less confusing. So let's start down here. It's February 23rd. Um, you're going to see here I have a Sam's Club and then I have an electronic payment. And what it was, and I don't know why uh, this happens, I, I mentioned it in my haul video, but for some reason, every once in a while at Sam's, when I put my card in that chip reader, and I've never had it happen anywhere else, but I've had it happen multiple times at Sam's, um, it will like my my card will not work. It will be like, no, me, 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 me. And um, it's not for lack of funds. I had like many hundreds of dollars in the account um, because I had gotten my tax return. <laughs> so I had lots and lots of money in there. And it's just, I don't know what it is with Sam's, but it, so this $10 is um, a grocery. And I am going to be dragging and dropping this week since you are able to do that in the easy, in, in, in this version. And then I'm just going to delete this because this is essentially, I charged it, I just got a different card out. I put it on my Capital One card and then I sent immediately the, the payment for it. So, but I wanted you to see that I did spend $10.65 on groceries, but I had like a weird whatever thing. So let's see here, February 24th, this is Chris's paycheck, hooray for paycheck money, um, got that in, ta-da, online transfer, that is my emergency fund, I transfer $25 every week to the, oh, I don't have to do that anymore, I need to go in and edit that, online payment. That is going to be a split. This is the $30 that I send to Capital One. And $25 is um, for gas for the week for because Chris puts the gas in the cars. Um, because most of the time he's like the only person that like really goes out and does much. But he drives pri Carly primarily, which is the black. Carly is a uh, black... Um, Keep starting to say an eco <laughs> cruise. It's a Chevy Cruise Eco Edition. Um, and we call that car Carly. And we car we call my car, which is a yellow Ford Escape, yellow. So it just worked out that way. Uh okay, so ten dollars is or I'm sorry, twenty-five dollars is gas. And then five dollars is goes towards his weekly, and what that does is for it allows him to use like the vending machine and things like that at work, um, just like little ancillary spending. Because every once in a while he'll just need to have that card for whatever, because he doesn't have change, and because he's really bad at carrying change. So, and that works. It works for us. I'm not. I got no complaints. So, um. Real estate tax. I paid. Okay, so I did pay the real estate tax. The first half, which was seven twenty-five. Um, I paid it in like two or three payments, but I ended up being able to do it all in February before our um income tax came, because as you can see here, it's like. 1430 is like the whole amount. And um so I sent the first half and then when the taxes came in, I um got my capital one out and I paid the 725 and I sent them their payment. So it's already been accepted, like it's already paid to the county and paid capital one. It was like done the same day. So that's that's good to go. Down here, this Sears Roebuck, I'm not going to add this because I have um all of my income tax returns, my refunds, all of that money is in a separate place. <laughs> um, but I wanted to, I, I have it here as a reminder. 
Sam's Club, $25.78. That was a gas money that I put in yellow right before she broke. So I haven't been driving yellow. And that's cool. Um, we do have... Oh, that's not where it goes. Um, the parts on order for that. I just ordered them and they are going to be here in another... Tomorrow, actually. And then Chris will probably fix it this weekend. So, um, Otterbox... Okay, so we had to buy another uh, OtterBox life-proof case for the iPod that we found because the girls really need one to touch it. And <sighs> Evelyn has broken many a screen, even inside of an OtterBox. <laughs> so we just felt like it was a good idea to do that. And so that is probably going to come out of my spending money, which is kind of non-existent. I spent a lot of money that I didn't have budgeted. Um, this is going to go to mine, too. This main ASCPL. Yeah, a while ago we had talked about libraries and fines and how people don't go to library because they have these fines. Yeah, well, I borrowed some stuff. And I thought it got taken back, and then I couldn't find it, and it wasn't taken back, and I still couldn't find it. Well, I finally found it. Yay! So I sent Chris to the library, because he drives by it on the way to work, and he went in and paid the, the fine. So this is mine, too. That's bad, 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 bad. Um, but this here, oh, I'm so excited. This online payment is going... very excited about that and then I'm just going to delete this because it's it was just there for a, a talking point um so that is all my transactions we're going to go over to Marche March um I did start to set this up um I need to fix these dates and also you know what I need to do I need to add another one because there are five paychecks because Chris gets paid each, each week I could probably actually look at them, right? 3.31. And I will go in and fix these dates, like, when you're not here, because I'm sure that's not super interesting to you. I do have a placeholder um, for YouTube income, which I really hope happens. A girl can hope, can't she? Uh, I don't know that I will get income from it every month. I mean, it would be really cool if I did, but... I'm just going to say, really, that would be so awesome if that was for real. Um, but, it, you know, if I get a little something, that's great. And if I don't, you know what, it's really, it's okay, too. Um, okay, so I got everything in here. Oh, that's so much better. This budget was, like, so tight before. My water, uh, $70. I actually got my Dominion and my first energy bill. So these numbers are right, $86.75 and $119. And... In fact, technically, I've already paid these because I'm like a month ahead, uh, but I will pay these this month, and that way when the next bill comes, I will be an equivalent amount ahead So, um, to what the bill was the current in the current month. So I'm actually a month ahead here. This, uh, I want to double check, but I want to say, okay, I need to update this because I want this to be 105, and that will put me a whole month ahead for my water bill. So that's the last half that I needed for that to be totally ahead. So got that. T-Mobile is not changing. Verizon is not changing. Spectrum, this is a new bill for me this month. So I don't know exactly when it's due. Um but I do have I have it on my I have it in my budget. So Netflix doesn't change. My Capital One, it says I have a balance here, but I do not. All right, so that's done. Uh, I have $500 planned for gro groceries. This may or may not happen. I may actually spend a lot less. Um, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling about it. Like if I, like if I'm going to no spend how many weeks? I'm thinking I might no spend two weeks, but then again, sometimes when the deals are good, I just 
need to buy groceries. Um, I don't have any restaurant money budgeted. I think I'm going to budget $35 for this because that would be, that would allow us to go out one time in the month. And usually it's towards the end of the month because that's when we have more, um, disposable income diapers. I have $35, um, uh, set aside because that will allow me to get a case of cuties, which is 92 diapers. And that's going to cover both girls because at this point, both girls are in some stage of potty training. Evelyn essentially only wears an overnight diaper and no, nothing else ever. Uh, unless we go like a long, far away. She's not really good with like traveling. She doesn't, she, when she recognizes she has to go, she will get up and go to the bathroom, but she is not like in the car. She, she doesn't say I need to go to the bathroom in enough time for us to get her to the bathroom. So if we are going to be traveling, say more than, if we're going to be gone for more than 20 minutes, we just put it like an overnight diaper on her and you know, pull up type thing. So that's good. Lily wears a diaper a lot more often, but I mean, literally her second birthday is coming up in three days on the fifth. So she wears an overnight diaper, of course, still. And then she wears a diaper at nap time. I guess that's kind of an overnight situation as well. Uh, because she will totally pee on you. <laughs> he said that she falls asleep on your lap. She gonna pee on you. Just saying. Um, but she 100% poops in the potty. I'm like super, super grateful for that. So um, she goes for more diapers than Evelyn, obviously. Evelyn's down to like one a day. Um, we are in the process of getting Evelyn's toddler bed up. And Evelyn just does not wake up in the night. She just doesn't wake up in the night to get herself. So we are starting to get up in the night and get her to the bathroom. And if she becomes more trained, we will be I'm really looking forward to 100% potty training. I hope that by the time Jill Woodstock comes around, she is 100% potty trained. We'll see how that goes. But the, the point is, is that I am spending way less on diapers. Number one, I get the cuties, a case of them for $13 at Amazon. And then wipes are... Um, 17 or $18 at Sam's for a thousand pack. Yeah. One comma zero, zero, zero. And they really work good. And I will probably end up continuing to buy those. Maybe not as many, but they're just great for like having in the car, wiping stuff. I like them. So anyway, that's my $35. Wow. I talked a long time about that. Um, gas and oil. I did change. I have $25. I'm going to change this. I, I'm going to put this at $150. Um, right now, I am, that's $25 a week for Chris. And then I usually am not using a whole tank of gas, but like every two weeks. So I got $25 budgeted for that. And if gas goes up, I will just cut the stinking back. So whatever. But right now, I'm just sharing Chris's car. So I'm not paying. Uh, clothing, you know what we're going to do? We are going to budget $25 for that because I really want to go to the Salvation Army. Chris still gets his $100 weekly. I get my, I'm doing $10. Actually, let's look and see. Am I doing $10? Nope. I'm doing 65. So I need to, oh, I hate when I do that. All right, we're going to change this to 65, so it needs to match. That's one of the struggles that I, um, auto insurance is unchanged. My emergency fund, thank the Lord that I am done with that. Um, Carly's oil change. We actually are getting an oil change on Saturday for her and two tires, and that is paid for already out of a sinking fund. I've already pulled that money and I have it in an envelope. While it will be spent in March, it's really a February transaction, so I'm not putting it on here. It's already ha Chris already has the cash for it. So um, I got my Christmas here, which I'm not putting anything towards, and I got my Geo Woodstock. I did have somebody ask me what Geo Woodstock is. You can Google Geo Woodstock. Geo Woodstock is the largest gathering of geocachers in the United States. It is not the largest in the world. That sadly happened in Munich, Germany, <sighs> and I was not able to go to that. <laughs> Um, but it is essentially a geocaching event. It's like the world's fair of geocaching and it is the super funnest thing ever. I have 
been to Wheatland when it was in California. I think it was like in 2008, 2007. Um, I've been to Sellersburg, Indiana. We went to Florida. I don't know what it was called in Florida. Some little town. I've been to Florida. When I want to say I've been to one more. Oh, we were going to go to Denver last year. Yeah, and then Wes died. That was a tough one. Um, so I missed that. I ended up having to travel to Oklahoma for that funeral. But that is my budget so far. Yes, I do have $829 left over. And actually, you know what? A lot. How much do I have? I hate All right. Let's look and see how much do I have. Oh, kind of a lot for Geo. Oh, nope. Not that one. Let's do some math. I got $18 plus 0.42 plus 330. 489.42 is. Also, I need to change this. I know it's going to make me over here, but it is what it is. If I don't make it, if I don't put it in there and make it right, it's not going to ever be right. So four Okay, so that's a good deal of that. And then where else is the rest of this money going? Because it's still Okay, so here I have one hundred and fifty dollars budgeted for um the that's part of it. So let's go up and correct that. I'm not exactly sure where the gap is. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Let's, let's look one more time. These are all correct as far as numbers go. Did I miss this 288? I did, didn't I? I did, because the calendar was... This was... This totally was covering it up. Okay. 0.42. Okay. So that is where the rest of that money is. Oh, good. I'm glad we found that. Okay. Let's go down and let's go to the sinking funds. Seven eighty six point eighty four. Ha ha ha! Yes! Uh, we'll figure out that $15 later, but this is pretty darn close. So, one of these things is, I'll bet it's this weekly. Let's look one more time here. Sure is, because if we change this to 70, that would... That's going to make me over more. Oh, uh, part of it is going to be some of these diapers. I don't know. I'll figure it out some other time. But this is, like, the closest match I've had, like, next to ever. Okay, so we are done with that. Team funds, 32%. Wow, that's pretty high debt. Only 6%. That seems really low. Um, I did just pay $2,000 to that just for the record. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up. We will do a quick peruse of my, um, my paycheck worksheet. So Chris is getting his $50. I have $100 budgeted for food. I'm going to pay the full 105, which is the $70 plus the $35 that is the, like the rolling forward half. Nothing for Dominion. Netflix is coming out because that's when Netflix comes out. First Energy, I'm going to pay part of this. I'm going to pay $63. I'm going to pay the entire Spectrum bill. If Unless 
I don't get a bill for it really soon. I'm just going to reserve that money for it. I'm not going to pay the Verizon. I'm going to pay Chris's uh, T-Mobile bill. I'm going to pay $40 towards the car insurance. It's going to give me some $10 scratch money. And then that's it. And so that leaves me a dollar <laughs> to play with. So that is my every dollar budget. I feel like it's in a reasonable amount of time. <sighs> I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I do appreciate the thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to continue to follow my financial progress, my family's journey, and my daily fun vlogs because I do enjoy them. And I hope you enjoy them too. I enjoy spending time with you. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.